Of the morning or afternoon actually. This is the worst part that my pillow, my area, lines up directly with the window and the sunlight in my face. And I'm just like, bitch, stop. Today's plan is edit, of course, but first, before editing, I am going to make some breakfast. My dad will be calling me in, I don't know, around like three, four hours because whenever he calls, like I cannot for the life of me hear him and when he calls my sister, same thing. He has no case on his phone, so I was like, did you drop your phone? And he goes, yes, yes, I did. And I was like, okay, I was like, well, it's probably that you damaged something in your phone because in the settings, all of the settings are fine. So I'm going to have to help him either get a new phone today at some point or I don't know, whatever. And then I have to pack because there's still a lot to be done. I won't be disassembling my bed until uh, either Christmas Eve, the 24th, before work, or Boxing Day after work, which is a little tight to when I'm moving. Uh, but you know what? That's what we are going to do. So, for breakfast today, I think I'm just going to make a breakfast sandwich. So, I have eggs, bacon ketchup toast that that should be good i woke up from a text message from our property manager if you watched a couple of vlogs back i mentioned how um it was i think it was i'm not sure after we signed the lease i mentioned to you guys how our bathroom in the apartment is like very well i mean the whole place is awkward laid out awkwardly laid out and the bathroom had no storage space which would have been fine despite the layout so if the layout had been different we could have put a linen closet somewhere but because of how they put everything so when you walk in the bathroom there's the sink right there an empty corner in the back the shower and tub right beside the empty corner and the toilet so when they install everything, Zoe and I will not be able to put something in the empty corner for linens because the sink is there so we can't open anything. So I text my property manager and I was like, hey, listen, I have a problem. I was like, uh, this bathroom situation is kind of weird. Um, I explained the situation, you know, that empty corner, like I'm not gonna be able to use it. I was like, can he build shelving in the bathroom just so i can put some towels and lo and behold i'm so happy he installed shelving for us but then again it in the long run it's gonna help him as well because if i'm not complaining about it his other tenants his potential future tenants will complain about that like what am i supposed to put in this empty corner so really I'm smart and I'm helping too. Vlogmas day 16 is up. I was relaxing for a bit. My dad will be here in like 30 minutes for us to go see what's going on with his phone. I hope it doesn't take too long, although usually these things do end up taking like an hour. I'm starting to feel a little overwhelmed a bit. Like, I am moving in, like, a week and a half, I think. Is that right? What's today? Today is Wednesday. Yep, I'm, yep, okay. Yep. <laughs> I have, I think, like, two or three suitcases downstairs that I can probably put some stuff into as well. 
I just want to put like the precious cargo, the breakables into the suitcases. I think that would be smarter. But I'm just, I'm just also thinking like once we actually move in, we are going to have like no couch, no dining room table and stuff because we literally can't buy anything until we measure the space. And yes, I could technically text the landlord and just be like, hi, what are the measurements? But because it's an awkward setup, the couch can really only go in one specific area. So he's going to give me the entire dimension of the living room when I just only need that space. So I should have measured it when we went to go sign the lease, but you know, I did not. And by the time like we order one or get one, like we're, we might be couchless for a while. So I don't know. And then also like that with like working and such like where where do you have the time plus it's christmas time like don't move at this time like it is so stupid like it is it's a little challenging so many 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 hours later and i'm finally home i'm finally ready to pack problem is it's a little late now but we're still going to do what we can here. Basically, long story short, um, my dad ended up going with a new phone and we also switched him onto Kudo just because Kudo is uh, much cheaper actually than TELUS. So he was paying $110 a month. Um, for the first five months, he will be paying what did we say either 60 or 70 and then the other six months after those six months he'll be paying 70 I think and then for the last year of the contract he'll be paying 80 which is still much better than the 110 that he was paying for at the other location. And that's also with tax, so that's great. He's going to get 4 gigs of data, which right now he only has 2 at TELUS, so it's perfect. Um, he got a new phone, and I have his old phone here, actually, because, because it's like a speaker issue. This is the Samsung, I don't know, what was it? Uh, the A... 3 3J and I guess my dad was paying nine dollars a month for like um repairs and stuff so he can actually still file a claim on that old phone so he'll technically have two phones which will be fine because when he goes traveling and stuff he'll have a second phone to take with him and such <laughs>
still pretty full. My makeup dresser is 95% empty. A lot of the little knick-knacky stuff down. And then as I mentioned, like everything I'm packing, I am doing layers of clothes. So while packing all the stuff, I'm also packing clothing as well. Um, I have a box here. This has shoes, a bunch of samples, mainly skincare. There's some makeup. There's some clothes in the bottom there. I am going to have two sisters and the one friend that spends Christmas with them to go through that box. They can take it. Just get it out of my life. I have like way, way, way too many samples. And I just, I, I just can't get through them. <laughs> it's moving along very slowly. Like I don't find where I'm like, wow, I accomplished a lot today. Like I just don't, I don't get that feeling. But now that this is like much more naked, I'm like, okay, I did something. <laughs> it is late. I am getting a little hungry again. I might just have some leftover pizza and head to bed because I work tomorrow at 10 a.m. So, yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you tomorrow.